Hello everyone. We will continue the topic multiple inheritance. So in the previous video, we created two interfaces and we used those two interfaces inside this particular class. In the first interface, we have the method sales. In the second interface, we have the method billing. And this is your multiple inheritance because you are combining or you are taking the things from multiple parents and you are creating a subclass. You are creating a subclass. This is your multiple inheritance. Now, suppose in this particular method, I will write a code to fetch data from BPAK table. So many times we wrote the same to same code. So this time I will simply copy paste. And I wrote a code to fetch data from BPAK. And similarly, in this method, we will write a code from BPRK. So many times we did, that's why this time I'm only doing the copy paste. So this is our achievement of this multiple inheritance. Now what we did, we created two interfaces using SC24. We created a class and we use those two interfaces inside this class. We did everything using SC24, but now same thing, or I will say, we will achieve the multiple inheritance using code now. Means we will go to SC38, we will create a program and we will see how to achieve multiple inheritance using the code itself. Same to same requirement. I'll go to SC38. I'm giving some program name. I'll click on create button to display sales order slash billing details. Executable program, save, local object. I will take the reference from the existing programs because we created so many same program as of now. So I will take one input and two radio buttons in the program because our requirement is same totally. I will provide the selection text, sales document, billing document, and input. Now we'll start with the creation. Now to achieve multiple inheritance, what we did in SC24, we created two interfaces. We will create two interface now. Suppose interface, I'll give some interface one name, interface name, and interface. After that, you took a method sales in the first interface. Methods sales. You took one importing and four exporting parameter. Same thing I will take, but this time I'll just take the reference from the code because so many times we did this code thing. So I have the interface name, interface one, instance method sales, one importing and four exporting. Now 
I will sorry I will write methods sales one importing and four exporting. So my first interface is ready. After that, what you did in SC24, you create a second interface. You took the method billing and same to same one importing and four exporting parameter. After that, what we did, we created a class. And we included both the interfaces into that class. We included both the interfaces into that particular class. Same thing we will do. How to include those interfaces inside this class? Interface. What is our first interface name? Interface one. What is my second interface name? Interface two. I'll check the syntax. Now I will write the code. After that, what you did in SC24, you wrote the logic in both the methods. Now we put so much stress how the method name is appearing whenever you are going for interface interface name tilde operator method name so how i will write method interface one tilde operator what is my method sales and method similarly I will write the second interface to the method is billing. You wrote the code of VBAK into first method. I will put the same thing. You wrote the code of VBRK into second method. I'll check the syntax and I will activate it. So what we did in this particular video, how to create a, how to create two interfaces using SC38 transaction code itself how to use those two interfaces inside a class and how to write the code into those methods means we achieved the multiple inheritance in the next video we will learn how to call these methods thank you